Hi there, everyone. Uh, this is my first author's update here on YouTube. I thought I would start doing a video blog for my writing enterprise. I'm coming to you here from my home in North Alabama. Um, behind me here, you can see a painting that I had commissioned to celebrate my husband Tyler's cancer remission. For those who don't know, he was diagnosed uh, in 2021 and after surgery and about six months worth of chemo, three, three to six months of chemo, um, he just celebrated a year's worth of remission. Um, this painting was done digitally by the brilliant Daniel DeNova. He also has done the covers for my Abel Mondragon book series. Um, I'll link to his work here in the video and in the description, so look for that, click on it, support him. He's really awesome at what he does. He's also a very talented voice actor. Um, can't say enough good things about him, so thank you for that, Daniel, and for the work you've done for me in the past. So, uh, what's new? Um, I am rebooting the very first book that I ever self-published, and I'm trying out a slightly new angle with it. Um, a few days ago, I got the author's proof copy. Here it is, Bloodbound, Reawakening. Um, it will be out August 1st. It'll be available on Kindle, paperback, and for the first time ever, hardcover. Um, since I'm self-publishing on Amazon, pre-orders are going on right now, but only for the Kindle version. That's all they let you do. Uh, but the paperback and hardcover versions will be out more or less on the same day. Um, there will be links here as well, so click, look, share, pre-order, etc, etc, etc. The basic theme of Bloodbound remains the same as the original version. It follows a young man who makes the acquaintance of another man who, it turns out, is not only a detective or an operative for an underground organization, but he also happens to be a vampire. Ta -da. Um, I've tweaked a few things in this version of the story as compared to the original. Um, I actually wound up nearly entirely rewriting this first novel since I feel in the dec decade or so since I first wrote it I've grown as a writer and I still wanted to revisit the story. I really believe in the concept and I wanted to give it another go. Um, if you followed me in the past you know I put out three uh, three books in the Bloodbound series, and then I just kind of petered out after that one. I left it on a cliffhanger, never got resolved, so I want to see if I'm even going to reach that same cliffhanger. So in the next few weeks, you're going to see some really cool stuff connected to the release of Bloodbound Reawakening. I have the very talented Morgan Wright making an animated version of this book cover. You'll see that in some video advertising here in the weeks to come. So excited about that. Consider this a notice. Um, I am holding auditions for an audiobook version of this novel. So narrators, voice actors, if that's you or if you know someone who might be interested in this, please share this video with them. Um, I had a couple other novels in the Abel Mondragon series recorded as audiobooks, and I love how it how those turned out. I plan to continue to do that and issue an audiobook version of this Bloodbound novel. So here's what you need to know about that. Auditions are being held right now on ACX, the Audiobook Creation Exchange. That's the independent publishing arm of Amazon's Audible.com. Basically, you go to my audition page, once again, there'll be a link in the video and in the description. If selected, you will be the voice of Bloodbound, and you will be tasked with reading the novel cover to cover and creating the distinctive audio style of both this book and my main characters, Hunter and Kai. There have been a couple submissions already, and I figure I'll keep the auditions going for a few weeks before I sit down and actually make a decision. Um, this project is a royalty share deal, meaning however many copies get sold, I get 50% of the royalties and you get 
straight down the middle. So I hope the selected producer will help in things like promoting this book here on YouTube, on their social media accounts, because I'll be doing the same thing here. If that sounds like the gig for you, I would encourage you to audition. I am looking for male or male presenting voices who can carry off late 20s, early 30s, male voices. Sound effects aren't necessary for the audition itself, although you can certainly add them if you want. The final script will include places for things like echoes and other types of sound effects, which if, if you, I, I will have you insert those, um, but that's a bridge we can cross later. This will go out, as I say, on Amazon and Audible, as well as iTunes. So there is a huge marketplace this audiobook will be available on. Um, I also wanted to talk a little bit about music. The songs that I listen to have helped in my ability to sort of reconnect with this story and helped inspire me to get the reboot off the ground. I put together a quote-unquote soundtrack for this novel. It features music that thematically ties into the story. I would love for it if you took a listen to it. It features bands that are mentioned in the novel, specifically Poets of the Fall and Coheed and Cambria. Those are the first two. Um, there are also some songs from bands that um, helped inspire the story. So again, link, video, description, click, listen, enjoy. Finally, um, I'm recording this in the middle of May. May is Mental Health Awareness Month. My husband, Tyler, and I have both had our struggles with mental health. I, even last year, around about this time last year, spent some time being hospitalized. Um, so we both know how critical it is that people are aware of their struggles, talk about their struggles, and seek help if they think or know that it's needed. Um, Tyler and I are both supporters specifically of a group called Take This. It's a mental health organization that focuses mostly on the gaming community. They are out at cons across the country. We believe in what they do. They're a legit 501c3 charity. I recently gave, uh, donated to them, and my employer at my day job has a matching grant program. So I gave $50 last month, and my company matched it dollar for dollar. They gave Take This another 50 bucks on my behalf. So I would encourage you, please check them out. Check with whoever you work you work with. See if they have a matching donation program. And consider a donation to Take This, because as, as the saying goes, it's dangerous to go alone. Uh, that's about all I've got for this. I hope to d make this a regular thing, a video blog about my writing side gig. Again, Bloodbound, Reawakening comes out August 1st on Kindle. It won't have that gray bar across the middle. Uh, Pre-orders available now for Kindle. It'll also be out in paperback and in hardcover. And currently auditioning voice actors and narrators to record an audiobook version of this novel. Find the links in the description. You will find a sample script and you can send off an audition. Until next time, uh, be well, take care of yourself, and be good with, with each other.